I, the, I was in the Jesus Movement in the early 70s, actually from 1970 on, in Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa, which is the, was the center of the Jesus Movement at that time. And there were a lot of bands there. In fact, the contemporary Christian music had its precursor in what we call Jesus music. Uh, contemporary Christian music is very largely worship-oriented music, which can be recorded and sold to congregations, uh, and they can and they can uh, worship in their churches for it. But the Jesus music was initially unrecorded and not written to be recorded. It was written to evangelize. It was evangelistic music rather than uh, worship music. So the, the music was usually directed toward the audience rather than toward God himself. But it's about God. It's about Jesus. And uh, some of it was in the form of a testimony and... And some of it, they, they just... There's a wide variety of different kinds of music you know, that was done. But... Uh, I know about, I know over a hundred songs from that period, uh, our own, I was in a band also, we had some, some of the songs in that period, but a lot of bands back then formed and played and broke up before they ever had a chance to record. So I got to learn a lot of really good songs by bands that never did record anything. And so I'm, in some cases, I think I'm the only person in the world who still knows these songs. They were 50 years ago. and. Even the musicians who wrote them, sometimes they're dead or they've backslidden and they don't remember the songs. That's, a, that's true of a great number of the songs I wrote. One of the, a, a number of the songwriters are dead now and uh, never recorded them. And others, uh, one, one at least, one girl who was 16 in 1970, like she wrote a lot of wonderful Christian songs, but then later in her life she kind of drifted away from the Lord. And I didn't see her for over 40 years and just I, I happened to contact her in Portland, Oregon, where she now lives just what, a couple of years ago, I suppose. And I reminded her of her old Christian song. She's still a songwriter and musician, but she doesn't write Christian music anymore. And she didn't remember her Christian songs. And I said, well, I do. And I started to play one for her that she had done. She says, did I write that when I was 16? And I hope, uh, hope that God, God gets his hands on her because she wrote great songs when she was 16. She could do it again. But in the meantime, I'm the only one in the world who knows those songs that she wrote. Even she doesn't know them. But I'm going to... Um, tonight do uh, just a selection of songs by different people I knew from the very early 70s. Here's one that uh, a friend of mine wrote. Salvation Salvation means we'll live forever with the King. Salvation, salvation. Means we'll live forever. Death has lost its sting. Awake, O oh sleeper. Watch out for the midnight creeper. And when the road gets steeper, the Lord will reach out with his hand. Take us deeper, deeper, deeper into his salvation. Salvation means we'll live forever with the King. Salvation. means we'll live forever death has lost its sting the Lord is coming can't you hear the distant drumming or are you just too busy humming 
some silly song that don't mean a thing. Better tune in and accept the King's salvation. 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 Same fellow who wrote that. He had been a. He was raised in uh, gangs in L.A. and he became a Christian and started writing Christian songs. But he and I uh, played occasionally in bands together that were just put together for single concerts. He was a soloist mostly, and uh, and he he died a few years ago. But uh, I I know quite a few of his songs. I really like his material. This is one of his tunes. Peter, do you love me more than these? Yes, I do, Lord. Hey, Peter, do you love me more than these? I said I do, Lord. Hey, Peter, do you love me more than these? No, I do, Lord. Well, then you better feed my sheep. Be watchful, don't you sleep. Because when I come, there'll be no warning. Lead my flock to the solid rock. And I'll meet you there on the new morning. Oh, my Lord, I was lost on a cold, dark sea. And you sent your Holy Spirit down to comfort me and set me free. Now I couldn't stand to live one day without you, Lord. Send down your spirit ship. And I will gladly climb aboard Forgive me for those words of love That I've ignored I know I couldn't stand to live one day Without you, Lord Then you better feed my sheep Be watchful, don't you sleep Cause when I come there'll be no warning Lead my flock to the solid rock And I'll meet you there on the new morning well, Then you better feed my sheep Be watchful, don't you sleep Cause when I come there'll be no warning Lead my flock to the solid rock And I'll meet you there on the new morning oh, That will be one sweet morning I did this one last night too. I'm trying to set, stick with pretty sim simple songs and old ones. My, uh, for my taste, the old songs, the old Jesus songs had a lot more to them than a lot of modern Christian music. Although modern Christian music is much more professionally performed and much more sophisticatedly written. These are very simple songs. This one's a great old simple song. 
By the way, the guy who wrote this song, his name was Jim Golden, and he got saved, he'd been a hippie, and because the Jesus movement was so young, there were hardly any people who, uh, from the hippies who got saved who'd been saved more than a few months. It was that early. And he was put in charge of a Christian house in Riverside, California called the House of Miracles. And he was, I think, three months old as a Christian. Still looked like a hippie and everything, but he was running this uh, discipleship house in uh, Riverside. And one time the Hells Angels outlaw motorcycle game, gang came up because they'd seen some of the girls. There were, there were men living on one floor and women in the, uh, the other floor. And they'd seen some of the women in the uh, house and they came by to just harassed the place and the leader of the the hell's angels who, who were there brought a switchblade knife up and he came up to jim golden who was the leader of the house he put it up to his neck and he says preacher i'm gonna cut you and the, and jim golden who'd only been a christian three months pulled his new testament out of his, out of his pocket out of his shirt pocket he said i've got a sword sharper than your knife and i'm gonna cut you and he started quoting scripture to him and the guy started to back off and finally, they got on the motorcycle, and they all drove off again. And he came back the next day. The motorcycle gang came back, and the guy came up to Jim and said, we've been talking about it. We've decided to be you guys' protectors. And Jim said, we don't need you as our protectors. we got Jesus as our protector. You're always welcome to hang around. Anyway, he wrote a lot of kind of neat, simple songs. It was interesting. He wrote lots of songs I really like, but not, they never rhymed. Yeah, it's, it, he just kind of, they were kind of flow of consciousness kinds of songs, but... They were pretty powerful because the Holy Spirit really had anointed a lot of these young converts who were writing this music. Walking in sin, I didn't know where I was going. Walking in sin, I didn't know where I was going. came to me and said you want to be free and I said show me and a man came to me and said you want to be free and I said show me he said put your hand in mine and walk along this road and come with me he said put your hand in mine and walk along this road and come with me then a man came to me and said you want to be free and I said show me to me and said you want to be free and I said show me so I put my hand in his and walk along this road to glory so I put my hand in his and walk along this road to glory and he is the light and he gives me life and I praise him and he is the light and he gives me life and I praise him And I love him And he is the one That made me God's son And I love him Very simple And I think I'll do one more of his I hadn't planned to but I just uh, another one again n none of the lines rhyme or anything like that it's just uh, 
very simple song, but powerful. The same man wrote this one. for a long time it's a long song and last time I did it I was on a stage in Las Vegas not in a casino I was in a church I was just doing some songs at random that came to my head and this was one of them and I forgot the words and the chords and I blew it terribly finally I just had to say I don't think the Lord wants me to do this song so we'll see if he wants me to do it tonight I'm gonna try it it's, uh, it's not a short song but it's a powerful song sun was scorching and the trail was rough the breath of the wind was like a dragon's puff i followed an aged man a leper and a priest there were thousands of people just to hear some preacher preach Miracle worker with his hand I noticed a blind man I had seen the day before A beggar of alms who stood outside the temple door I froze in amazement when he turned and looked at me I couldn't believe it but I'd swear this man could see For God had healed him with his hands The preacher fed the people's souls With the words he spoke He healed their sickness And for some he filled their hopes their hearts were filled with life, but their bodies were not fed. 
So he brought some fishes and about five loaves of bread. A miracle worker with his hands. I sat down and wondered if I could believe my eyes. The preacher fed 5,000 men plus their children and their wives. And as we wandered home, I heard some people say, surely a holy man we've heard and seen today. A holy man we've seen today. Will they remember him? Two thousand years from now Will they remember him Two thousand years from now What will they think of him Two thousand years from now Will they believe in him Two thousand years from now When the religious leaders of the temple gathered near, the preacher's claims and healings raged them into jealous fear. Corruption flowed in their veins so long they could not understand. When the preacher said, I am, they sought to tear him off the land. Miracle worker with his hands. In the cities and villages, his fame was spread abroad. The miracle worker who claimed to be the son of God, a holy Day was Sunday, he rode into Jerusalem. A man of sorrows with palm leaves spread before him. Rounding the Mount of Olives, there were tears in his eyes. He knew he'd be rejected, and they would take his life. Become the savior of the world. And when they had scourged him, they sentenced him to die. Took him to Pilate and accused him with their lies. But Pilate turned to them and said, how can this be? For I find no fault in him. Shall I set him free? The hearts of hatred did reply. Crucify, 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 crucify. Crucify, 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 crucify. I heard them screaming. Crucify, 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 crucify. I heard them screaming, let him die, yeah, let him die, let him die, let him die. They dressed him in a scarlet robe, a crown of thorns and weeds. Laughing while they beat him till he began to really bleed. While they mocked him, his broken heart was tossed. And when they'd had their fun, they nailed him to a cross. The miracle worker with his hands. They raised his battered body on the cross that they had made. 
drenched with spit and sweat and blood, his life began to fade. Hanging in his nakedness, he bore the public shame. Satisfaction on their breath while they cursed his name. But he looked into heaven and cried, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And when the show was over, they left to celebrate. Speaking about him, all their words were filled with hate. A certain stranger asked me who nailed Jesus to the tree. I turned and said, good stranger, well, it was you and me. Not even death could conquer my Lord of Lords and King of Kings. When you rose from the dead, the angels did sing of kings and Lord of Lords. Not even death conquer my Lord of Lords and King of Kings when you rose from the dead the angels did sing 